I got some new tires installed on my SUV. And one of the things that I do immediately when I get my vehicle back from the installer is I check where the yellow dots on the sidewall of the tire line up with the valve stem. I also checked the tire pressure monitoring system light on my dash to make sure that it did not illuminate during the install. With almost every modern tire, there are usually two markers on it. The first marker is this yellow dot, and this yellow dot indicates the point opposite of the heaviest point on the tire. So this is not necessarily the lightest point on the tire, but in the balance of the tire, this is the heaviest spot. And typically on a modern rim that is machined almost perfectly, the heaviest point on the rim is where the valve stem is. And inside of the valve stem is usually a sensor for the tire pressure monitoring system. So if a good installer knows what this yellow dot means, they're gonna try to line this up almost perfectly with the valve stem to minimize the number of weights required. <laughs> This red dot indicates the highest point on the tire. So the tire itself is not perfectly round. And if I tried to measure it, I would see that it's a little bit taller here than perhaps it is right there. And so if a rim is not machined perfectly and it has a mark on it somewhere where its lowest point is, then you would try to match that up with the lowest point on the tire to make it more round so that it doesn't wobble as you bounce. This red dot takes precedent over the yellow dot so here's the third tire on the back. I can see that the yellow dot is here. I can see the valve stem is right here. And if I look in there, I can see several weights that they had to use to balance the tire on the rim. And there is quite a few. I think it looks like at least 10 weights in there. And here's the final tire. The yellow dot is at least about a quarter turn off from the valve stem and then we have the red dot right here this rim does not have any machine markings on it that indicate any either heaviest point lowest point or out of round points but sometimes you'll see just a little circle about this size machined into a rim that indicates that position so you might be asking yourself why does it matter the installer did the right job the tire is fully balanced and it runs good so the vehicle right now when i'm going down the highway i don't have any abnormal vibrations or anything that i need to worry about the concern is maybe about a year from now maybe these tires last me a couple of years i hit something like a speed bump or a pothole so maybe for some reason the adhesive on the weights comes undone those weights pop off and then next thing you know i have a strange vibration induced by that weight falling off and i might think hey that's some kind of problem with the vehicle like a wheel bearing or an axle but it turns out that it's just a tire that needs to be rebalanced the next thing that i check is the tire pressure monitoring system this vehicle does have a readout for each individual tire so i can see that each tire has approximately the correct amount of air pressure in it if there was a little light illuminated down here it looks kind of like an inverted balloon with an exclamation point in it then I would think possibly that the installer broke one of the TPMS sensors while installing. Then I would wanna go back in and make sure that's corrected before I leave. The original tires lasted about 45,000 miles, which I'm happy with. I could have pushed them a little farther, but with the snow and ice, I didn't wanna risk having an issue with control of the vehicle. If you're a professional installer, let me know in the comments. Do you think that it is worth the extra few moments to line that yellow dot up? Or does it save more money by just throwing the tire on, putting the weights on, and getting the customer's vehicle out of the bay?